Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to go more in depth on how you can combine MD props with various types of crowd interactions. By combining these two powerful tools, you can generate complex scenes with multiple actors in no time via automatic crowd interactions with your MD props. Let's start off with automatic on-path interaction. Here our actors are all set to automatic on-path mode, meaning that they are constrained to the path area you see here. If we enter into play mode, you'll see them simply navigate back and forth along the path with no interest for the beautiful works of art around them. So what if we want them to stop and look at this vase for example? We'll start by bringing in our embedded observe MD prop and match its orientation with the direction we want the actors to observe from. They will stand where the position gizmo dummy is. I'll also want to record each actor's movements here as we'll analyze it further in a bit. In play mode, we'll then see two separate actors straight from the path and enter into the observe action one after the other. If we play back the recording, you'll notice that the female actor is drawn to the MD prop after entering the green circle area known as the trigger range. Let's focus on this by isolating it with the command from the toolbar. In the MD tab of the Modify panel, you'll find a section for Crowd Interaction, which contains settings for how your crowd will interact with your MD prop. If you deselect the Crowd Interaction box, the trigger range will disappear, and your MD prop will subsequently have no effect on any crowd in your scene. Under Range, you can choose either a square or circle and adjust their respective dimensions. If we enter play mode again, you'll see that this time only the third actor gets attracted to interact with our MD prop. You can set the likelihood that actors will interact with your various MD props via the IMD tag system, which is explored more in our dedicated tutorial. Automatic in-zone interaction is very similar to the path interaction. In this scenario, in addition to the actionable type MD prop observe, we also have the state switch type sit on chair. These can be differentiated by looking at the small icon on the top left of the thumbnail. The actors in our scene are set to auto in zone and are assigned to this nav mesh which I've already set up. This means that they'll randomly wander around in this nav mesh in no particular direction and interact with an MD prop once they enter its trigger range. This new ability for crowd actors to interact with MD props in iClone 8.5 provides easy and natural looking results like this, where your actors will smoothly interact with objects in their surroundings, while you only need to basically enter play mode. This is extremely useful for a variety of scenarios, not to mention it saves incredible amounts of production time. Aside from path and nav mesh interaction, you can also determine follow behavior with MD prop interaction. In this scenario, the father actor is set to auto on path mode, while the wife and daughter are set to follow object mode with the father as the target. We also have two observe MD props set up. If we go to the crowd interaction section once again, you can see that there is another checkbox for follower interaction, which dictates the interactive behavior with any actors who are set to follow object mode. If this is unchecked, then when we enter into play mode, none of the follower actors will interact with that MD prop. In this play mode simulation, our father actor will proceed to the vase and perform the observe action, and the others will just stand there and wait. If we check follower interaction as well as wait for follower, you'll see that when I simulate this time, although the father passes the first MD observe, the daughter will now interact with it by chance, even though she is set to follow, and the responsible father will proceed to wait for her. When she's done, they'll all continue on.
If we disable wait for follower, as you can probably guess, the other family members won't wait for the daughter this time, and the father will be more preoccupied with the fascinating vase in front of him. However, after the observe action is completed, the daughter will catch up. One extra tip to get more accurate performance from your actors, especially if they're performing an action like the observe one, is to ensure that look at object is selected in the MD controls, and also that their actor type is set to edit mode so that they can support constraints. With these options enabled, you'll notice more natural transition between various points of interest while the actor is idling. Here our child actor's focus drifts from the prop look at point to the leader to the other follower. You can also determine crowd interaction settings on an actor by actor basis as well. In this scenario, I'm combining different behavior types including auto on path, auto in zone, and follow object. In a situation like this where you have a ton of different performances running simultaneously, you may experience a lower FPS due to lack of system resources. It's recommended to switch to by frame in this case. The playback will remain slower, but the recording will be smoother. In this play mode simulation, we have an elderly actor leaning against the wall where a wall leaning MD prop has been set. If we want to prevent a single actor from interacting with any MD prop, we can disable the MD prop interaction checkbox in the simulation section with that actor selected. If this is disabled, he will not interact with anything and just assume his standard auto in zone behavior of walking around. That's it for this tutorial guys. These are just a couple of the simple ways in which you can combine crowd simulation with the intuitive MD prop system to quickly populate your scene with natural behavior and without the need to animate actors individually, which can be a much more time consuming process. Please check out our other MD Prop Crowd Interaction tutorials for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.